we thank you for the Word of God. We thank you for a more sure foundation. And we thank you for Jesus, who's our rock. And Lord, despite everything that may happen in the civic world, everything that may happen among the nations of the earth, this is my Father's world. And I rest me in that thought. And so right now, I pray for the anointing of the Lord to come upon this audience, to come upon this nation. It's your country, Lord. Take charge of your land. And we nullify any decree that has been issued against the people of God. And we know that the day is coming where we'll have peace and the word will go forth and a great revival. We look forward to that in Jesus' name. Amen. There's a psalm, the 91st Psalm, you've heard a great deal about, but at the end of it, there's what I call the I wills of God. And God said, because he has set his love upon me, therefore I will. And one of the things that he says is, I will protect him. You have set your love upon the Lord God of hosts, and he said, I will protect you. And he said, you will call upon me, and I will answer you. So I say right now, fear not, because the Lord himself is setting a watch over you. And if you set your love upon him, he will deliver you. He will protect you. He will set you on high because you've known his name. So right now, I think I would like to lead every one of you in looking to the Lord God of hosts, who said, I will protect you. Fear not. Fear not. Father, we thank you for the promises of God, and we thank you for the power of God. And in the midst of contagion, in the midst of plague, in the midst of famine, in the midst of chaos, you are God Almighty. And we come before you humbly, and we want you to know we set our love upon you. And therefore, we thank you for your promise that you will protect us. So may for everyone in this audience who's watching and those who are at home and their loved ones and workers and fellow uh, uh, people of God, you will protect them. And we claim that protection over the people of God during this chaos that you will keep them safe and you will keep them healthy and you will keep them productive. In Jesus' name, amen. Over the years, Pat Robertson was many things. He was a Southern Baptist minister, media magnate, presidential candidate, and the political commentator. In the warning years of his life, Pat devoted much of his time spewing anti-gay rhetoric on his show, The 700 Club. After the mass shooting at Pauls nightclub in Orlando, he famously said that the liberal support of both the LGBTQ community as well as Islamic people was causing a dilemma among the left, adding that for those of us who disagree with some of their policies, the best thing to do is just sit on the sidelines and let them kill themselves. It was recently announced that Pat passed away on June 8, 2023, at the age of 93. This announcement came by way of the Christian Broadcasting Network. The religious media company Pat and his wife Dede established in 1960. Like Pat, its reach was far and wide. Here is what we know about the consecutive Christians' cause of death. According to Associate Press of the time of this writing, Pat's cause of death hasn't been revealed yet. His life, however, was marked by his ability to bring Christian conservatives together. Historically, Pat was known for spreading some rather alarming conspiracy theories. He had a history of extreme bigoted commentary, including that gay people and abortion caused 9 out of 11 that Haitians deserved the 2010 earthquake that ravaged the the island nation and that feminists are evil reported rolling stone thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe